Okay, welcome to today's crack. Uh, what I'm going to do is run you through. I have set up this crack, and I'm actually going to do the crack myself here because just in case you're away or you forgot some of the steps that you did um, during this crack, uh, you'll be able to go back and refresh yourself while you are running your assignment up. Okay, so the first things that I need to do is just make sure I'm wearing the right safety gear. Okay, so I've got my lab coat on. I've made sure that my sleeves are unrolled until uh, it reaches my wrists. I've also done it up. Make sure that any hair is tucked in um, in the collar and also anything loose is tucked in the front. Okay. Also need to be making sure I'm wearing my safety glasses for this process as well. So let's set up our equipment. I've got my uh, heat proof mat which I place under my Bunsen burner. Um, I've got my Bunsen burner itself. I've checked to see that the gas is turned off. I'm also going to check to make sure there's no holes in the tubing of the Bunsen burner. I'm going to place that on my heat proof mat. And what I can do now is just work the tubing up the nozzle and make sure it's on tightly. Okay. Um, what I've got here is a retort stand. Okay, it's got a boss head clamp on that. We're going to use that to uh, hold our conical flask over the flame. Um, bef before I do that, the best thing to do is to put your ice into your container and then place your balloon over the top because this practical is all about expansion and contraction so what's going to happen is that uh, the ice is going to melt as it's heated uh, the water is then going to evaporate causing the balloon to expand hopefully uh, what I'll then do is place my tripod with my gauze mat on top of it uh, I'm going to adjust the clamp so that it can hold my conical flask just above the reason why we do this is just to stop it from spilling or reduce any risks of the um, conical flask from being tipped over. I'm going to place that on top. It can sit right on the gauze mat. That's fine. Okay. Now we need to make sure that I've got matches, which I don't. Need to make sure that my holes are open on my Bunsen burner. I'm going to light the match first, place it over the flame, and then slowly turn on the gas. Okay, that one didn't work. Turn the gas off. Light the match. Okay. I want to adjust this one here to make sure I can hear it sound like a uh, like a jet, so that's on our working flame, the blue flame. You can hear it there. I don't want to place my matches into our sand pit, just so there's no risk of any fires um, starting. Also, if the matches, make sure that they're away from the flame because I don't want them to combust. Okay, this is the easy bit. We need to uh, just stand back, make any observations of what's happening to the ice as it melts. Um, and to the balloon as water vapors start to work its way up into it. So this is the point where you need to be uh, recording in your results table what's happening to the substances in the flask and also what's happening to the balloon that is attached to the flask. Okay. Um, I'm just going to step away and you guys can watch this one here happen and see what's happening to the balloon on top.
Okay, so this is about two or three minutes later where the water has started to boil. Um, you've got to be careful that the balloon doesn't get too big, obviously, because then it's going to explode. So I'm going to turn the gas off now. Um, I'm going to carefully adjust the boss head clamp. Okay, I'm using my tongs here to make sure that um, the beaker itself doesn't move. Quite stand, so like this. I'm just going to get this one here out of the way. I'll put that over here. Uh, what I need to do now is I want to see what happens when I place it under running water. I'm hoping that the glass doesn't actually break. Um, just watch what happens to the balloon. Because in theory, what's going to happen is it's going to start to contract. So the water vapors, as it was boiling, have risen into the balloon to uh, fill it with that gas. Um, you should notice some drips of water starting to go down there as well. So let's see what happens. So as the water's cooling, the balloon should eventually start to decrease in size. But the word we like to use in science is called contraction. Just make sure when you're adjusting the water pressure that um, if the water's not going everywhere like it is here, um, otherwise you're just creating, it's creating a big mess that you have to clean up at the end. So as you can see, the size of the balloon has decreased significantly, it's contracted, uh, the air inside has cooled and it's become water vapour. Uh, I could keep going on this process for quite a long time and it should contract back to its original uh, size of the balloon, but um, you guys get the point of what's happening here. Okay, so as it cools, what's happening is that it decreases in size. Great. Have fun writing your experiment report. Um, just be sure that you make sure uh, that you let uh, the gauze mat itself cool down and the tripod cool down before you uh, start to pack it away and clean down your space. Good job.